This video is about improved solder vacuum or improved solder sucker revision 2. As you can see, I replaced the solenoid that I was using before with a Solzol. I also added an inline valve or a pneumatic diode so the air only flows into the pump and then the air leaves the pump through this valve here. And just to demonstrate the vacuum action of the pump, I'll use the input valve, which typically gets put into the solder sucker here, like so. And I'll use it to lift this sticky note. It can lift little lead balls as well, but this is easier to see. So you can see it's holding that quite well. And when it stops, it releases. And to demonstrate the output valve of the volleyball pump, so you can see that it's pushing the label away. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate it being used, and you will be impressed. Now I built this in such a manner that I can place it next to my foot so I can control the trigger using my left foot. And at present I need to take my shoe off in order to actuate the trigger. But it allows me to keep my hands free and I also have some speed control using my foot. Now the air does cool the soldering iron tip so you really want to use it in bursts. Okay so the components I'm going to be going for are this relay this capacitor here and this capacitor here and I'm going to record this in real time so here is the relay and let me grab the capacitors. And here's one of the capacitors. And let me grab the other one. And here's the second capacitor. So, as you can see, this thing works very, very well. Well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions regarding any of my setup or any suggestions I have as far as making your own, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help out. And in case you're wondering where all that solder is building up, it builds up inside this red ball here. And this video is dedicated to Peter Wobax for finding the Sharpie.